Here they come out of turn number four. The green flag is out. We are underway here for heat race number one in the street stock. Contact back in the field as it looks like three cars got together, but we are still under green. But meanwhile, Bruce Griffin in the number 72 takes the race lead as the battle for second between Rick Osteen and Cameron Magooley will battle it out down the back straightaway as the 46 of Chris Mappins takes third. All right, not a good start for a couple of the cars. That would be Brian Morgan as he's going to take a pit side along with the 22 of Don McCord. So right now it's Griffin, your leader, Cameron McCauley, in second in that number 11 car. Running in the third spot, spot is Chris Mathis. Caution flag is out at four, waiting for the wild child to wave the green flag. Green flag is out. We are back underway here at Volusia Speedway Park. Down the front straightaway, it is going to be Bruce Griffin to the race lead once again as the 11K of Cameron Magooley will take second. All right, so Griffin with about a two-car length advantage over the number 11 car. It's Cameron McCauley in that 11, running in second, about four car lengths back. Running in the third spot is the 46 machine of Chris Mathis. Mathis trying to run down McCauley for the second spot. Meanwhile, now front Griffin now with about a four car length advantage. Here comes Chris Mathis to the inside of McCauley as they come out of two. Mathis goes high. That could give the opportunity to Zach Yabowski to take third away. Side by side down the back straightaway into turns three and four. And Mathis will still hold on to the third position down into three. All right. Zach Yakubowski looking strong here in the number seven machine. He's up to the four spot trying to run down Chris Mathis. Meanwhile, out front, Griffin having his best run of the year here at Volusia Speedway Park in that number 72, set and sail down the back straightaway to complete lap number three. Bruce Griffin has a 1.27 second lead over Cameron McCooley as they come out of turn number four. Down the front straightaway, they will go as Chris Mathis and Zach Yakabowski are still battling for that third position as they come through turns one and two. Mathis to the outside, Yakabowski to the inside off of two. Zach looking strong here, trying to get on the inside of the 46. Give him a little shot going into turn number three. Said, come on, Chris, I want that third spot. Chris is saying, I don't know what, I'm staying on the bottom. If you want to pass me, you go on the outside. Yeah, he's certainly going to try. Now Mathis is going to try to go to the outside. Now looks to the inside of Cameron McAgooley for the second position, but now washes a little bit wide through turns two. This could give the opportunity to Zach Yakabowski into the back straightaway. They'll go. Yakabowski will take third from Mathis. So Zach now to run, trying to run the Cameron McCauley machine down. Cameron doing a lot of slipping and sliding out there, still holding that second spot. It's going to be two to go the next time by for your race leader, Bruce Griffin. Three-second advantage for Bruce Griffin now as he comes out of turn number two down the back straightaway. He is smooth sailings right now in that number 72. Out of turn number four, he will get the two to go this time by. Zach Yakabowski in that seven trying to reel in Cameron McCauley as they come off a of four. Yakabowski within a car length and a half of McCauley as in Griffin way up there in the marbles. Bruce Griffin losing a ton of time as he maintains that number one spot as Yakabowski trying to reel in McCauley for second. He's just trying to cause a little drama right now in that number 72 as he continues on his way out of turn three and four, but with that little mishap, that allows Yakabowski and Maguli go side by side and gain some time right now. It is 2.3 seconds separating the two drivers as Mathis looks to the inside. Contact almost between the two drivers out of the two. I'll tell you what, Bruce Griffin really tiptoeing through the corners. I don't know if something went away on that car. What? It will not turn in the corners. Griffin to hold on here for the checkered flag. Bruce Griffin, your heat race winner. Sheffield and Stats hammer down. Travis Stats a little bit quicker on the throttle as he leads him down the front straight into turn number one. Travis Stats, your race leader. Travis Stats has about a two car length advantage as they come out of turn number two, but here comes the 55 of Heath Walker with a head of steam on the outside down the back straightaway into turn three and four. They will go. Barry Sheffield fights to the inside, but to no avail as we see Heath Walker now go for the race lead. Little David showers in that 18. Joe Belkey in the 118. Trying to move toward the front as your race leader is still stats, but not for long on the outside. It's Heath Walker. Heath Walker with a great run through one and two. Jumps out to about a three-car length advantage. Here comes little David on the inside for second. Here they come through turns three and four. It is going to be Heath Walker, your race leader, but it's three wide for the battle for second as they come off a of turn four. We had to see the 19. Oh, it looks like Joe Bethke had to back out just a little bit, but that gives the 
advantage to David Showers Jr. for second as Belke is having a little bit of trouble, drops back to four. Joe Belke in that 119 car thought about making it three wide as Taylor set off a four, thought better about it, shuffled back. Now he's in the four spot. Little David Showers in the 18 working his way toward the front. It is Heath Walker in the 55, your race leader. David Shower, David Shower Jr. now sitting in that second position, trying to reel in as he just ran the fastest lap of this heat race with a 22.091 and is reeling in Heath Walker in that number 55. Out of turn number four. We got the cross flags halfway this time by. A little beating and banging. Travis Stack got it all squirrely over there in three and four. That dropped him to the tail end of the field. So Travis, after starting on the front row, right now shotgun in the field. Little David Showers is going to have company. Joe Belke, that 119 machine. Belke took over that third spot, and he is on the hunt. He's within three car lengths of Little David Showers as they work off a of four. A good run off a of turn four for David for Joe Belke as they go into turns one and two, nose to tail. David Shower Jr. is trying to hold on for second place, but it might not to be to no avail as Belke gets ahead of steam down the back straightaway. Two to go once they get to the line. Showers and Belke trying to hook up to run down the Heath Walker machine. Heath still with about a five car length advantage. It'll be two to go. Belke now right on the back bumper of Little David as they work into turn number one. Into turn one and two. Belke tries to get to the back bumper of Ch Showers Jr., but to no avail. He will try the outside as he tries to cross over move down the back straightaway. Looks to the inside as he cannot get there yet as they come out of turn number four. White flag should be in the air this time by. Joe Belke gave Little David a little shot going in the air to three, letting them know that he is there. Belke now dives to the bottom, showers within two car lengths as it's still Walker, your leader, down the back straightaway. As three cars under a blanket for the race lead as they dive it into turn three and four. Walker, Showers Jr., and Belke battling it out for the win here for the heat race here as they come out of turn number four. Heat Walker will win in heat race number two here. Here we go, green flag off of turn number four. John Thorpe in the 114 machine. And Haslauer battle for that number one spot. Give it a jump. Haslauer on the inside now as he takes over that number one spot. Justin McCauley in the 15 on the outside of Haslauer trying to take over the lead. McCauley will try everything to the outside as they come out of turns three and four. Justin McCauley will take over the race lead out of turn number four. New race leader as they come across the line to complete lap number one. McCauley with a good run, not so good for John Thorpe in the 114 machine as he has dropped to the tail. Meanwhile, out front, McCauley over Haslauer in the third spot is the Jacob Bell machine. In the fourth spot is Chris Lawrence in that 63, and then Bubba Christian rounding out the top five. Battle for second position between Hufflauer and Jacob Bell side by side into turn number one. Bell to the inside. Will he make it stick to take second away? The answer will be no. Hufflauer will use the outside to his advantage to take on second position. Down the back straightaway into turn three and four. Bell not done with him yet. He'll look to the inside through three and four. So Haslauer in that actually Thunderstock machine going to run with the street stocks here tonight. McCauley with a comfortable lead. It's going to be halfway home this time by. Halfway home, and McCauley will have a 1.6 second advantage over Jacob Bell in that number 77 street stocks to Marrow as they dive it into turns one and two. And meanwhile, Joey Hufflauer is under big pressure from the 63 of Chris Lawrence as we see also Bubba Christian in the 04 look to the inside down the back straightaway. He'll go to the top side as they go into turn three. So it's still all Justin McCauley. It's going to be th two, three to go this time by McCauley, your leader. In a comfortable second is a Jacob Bell machine. Haslauer hanging on to that third spot. Now Chris Lawrence and Bubba Christian doing battle. That would be for P4. Right now, give it to Lawrence. Here they go down into turn three. We will see Christopher Lawrence holding strong over Bubba Christian as he tries to work the outside group to get around Chris Lawrence to no avail this time out of turn number four. Down the front straightaway, Bubba Christian's trying to find an opening to get to him. As it's gonna be the white flag next time by Justin McCauley with a strong run here. Jacob Bell with another strong run going. That's your first two cars. We could have a battle shaping up Chris Lawrence now, right on the back bumper or about a car length off the back bumper of Haslauer as they work down the front straightaway. As they now go into turn one and two for the final time, 
Lawrence to the inside of Hasslauer, but to no avail, will not be able to make the pass complete. Meanwhile, back up front, Justin McCauley will take home the checkered flag here for heat race number three. As they come out of turn number four, green flag is out. We are underway in three wide battle for the race lead as they come across the line. Tuck Tranum has tried to take a look to the inside but cannot make it work. Meanwhile, the number 40 of Clayton Roof will take over the race lead attitude. Young Clayton Roof's got about a car length advantage over Big Chief as they sail into turn number three for the first time. Tuck Trenum on the outside of Straley trying to take over that third spot. Meanwhile, Big Chief David Showers digging on the bottom. It's going to be Clayton Roof leading black number one. Senior trying to reel in Clayton Roof right now as they dive it into turns one and two. David Showers about two tenths of a second back from our race leader Clayton Ruth out of turn number two, but don't forget Tuck Trenum as he is right there in third gaining ground. About throw a blanket over the top three. Clayton Ruth pushes up. That's gonna allow Big Chief to take over that number one spot. Little bit of contact. Tuck Trenum Shower Senior up to the second spot. So a tough corner for Clayton Ruth as he dropped from first to third with a big push in that number 40 machine. It just shows the difficulty of racing here at Volusia Speedway Park. We just saw our race leader drop all the way back to third position in one corner. Right now though, the senior is of David Showers is leading the way here as they come across the line, but Tuck Trenum trying to reel him in half a second back. Tuck Trenum not letting Showers get out of his sight. About two and a half car lengths off the back bumper. Big Chief leads him into turn number three. It's gonna be four down, four to go. Halfway home this time by. Here's the wild child waving the halfway point here for our race leader as David Shower Sr. comes across the line. Halfway, but Tuck Trenum trying to reel him back in as he comes across the line. And both looking at the time, six tenths of a second separate the two drivers out of two. Tuck Trenum took a little chance going into the wound, try to go to the top shelf. It did not work as he lost about eight or ten car lengths to David Shower Sr. up there in one and two. Looks like a miracle is going to happen if Tuck's going to have to run down that 18 machine. Showers always on his game. Set and sail. It'll be two to go the next time by. Out of turn number two. We will still see the battle for second between Clayton Roof and Tuck Trenum. But Roof gets a little bit wide out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway as Truck, Tuck Trenum trying to reel in our race leader, David Showers Sr. As they come across the line, two laps to go. Tuck Trenum may have a little bit faster race car. He's running out of laps, though. He is reeling in Showers. Now within about six car lengths as they work off a two. It's going to be the white flag the next time by. Down into turn three and four. Showers Sr. holding strong by about one second over Tuck Trenum. But it, can he hold on for one more lap? White flag in the air for David Shower Sr. as they go into one. For the final time, working one and two, Shower Sr. with about a six car length advantage over Tuck Trenum. Final time down the back straightaway, entering turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it looks like it's going to be Big Chief David Shower Sr., the winner of Street Stock Heat Race number four. Look at McCauley on the bottom. He's got the early lead. Three wide down the back straight away. Who's the meat in the sandwich? It's going to be Griffin in the middle. Griffin standing on the throttle. Going to push up a little bit. That's going to allow McCauley. That would be Justin McCauley to be out front. No, it's going to be Griffin, your leader. So, Bruce Griffin, your lap number one leader, McCauley, in second walker in the third spot. But here comes Showers. Straight away. Out of turn number four, Bruce Griffin fires off and we are back on the way. Green flag is out and we are going to be three wide for the race lead as they dive. And we will take over the race lead as they come out of turn number two. Four cars getting involved in contact showers. The triple two is also involved in the on. We are still under green flag, but Justin McCulley will take on the race lead now. All right, as they work off on turn number four, great battle for the third, fourth, and fifth spot. Big Chief, David Shower Sr., Walker, and Joe Belke right there in the mix. Belke goes to the high side of Walker. Big Chief up to the third spot. Griffin in second. McCauley is your race leader. Trouble for Bruce Griffin now. He's going to fall back multiple spots up to a stop shot. He's going to drop to fourth, possibly fifth position. But Griffin's working to the inside, gets second away. Trouble off a of turn for Carter. Belky 
Belke with a handful of steering wheel, dropped about six spots. Tuck Trenum got by him. Clayton Ruth was about to get by Belke. Belke gathered it back up. Here comes Big Chief on the outside of Griffin for the second spot. Meanwhile, up front. Whoa! Whoa around goes Griffin. Griffin and they track. David Showers, senior. Oh, McCauley pulls the trigger off a of board. Justin McCauley is your race leader. Down in the turn, number one. Here comes Showers, junior to the inside. Will he make the slide job? No, it will be a failed attempt at the slide job. And we will see. Whoa, Don't we're stacking him up again over there. And we got all kinds of issues going on. Oh, goodness. Too Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 cars involved. Only have raced four times, but we're about to go racing again. Green flag is out. We are underway as Shadow Showers will go to the outside. The turn number one, side by side. McCulley will maintain the race lead as they come up. The 40, though, of late Root wide off to turn number two as he drops back multiple spots. But the battle for the race lead between Showers and McCulley goes underway into three. Heath Walker now looking at about three wide. Walker had to step out a little bit. Meanwhile, up to the number two spot is Tuck Trenum in a 54 machine. Here he goes into turn number one now. But we see a little shower to the inside of Trent Tuckham, but to no avail. He will drop back to third as we see Justin McCauley hold on to the race lead. About a car, two car length separate the two drivers. McCauley having it all his way thus far. Showers goes to the bottom. Tuck Trenum in the middle of the track. McCauley up high. McCauley by three car lengths over Tuck Trenum. David Showers Jr. and now Joe Belke in the top four. Folks, don't ever count out Belke. He'll be on a move here shortly. Don't forget about Bubba Christian as we have a battle for the race lead once again. Trent Tuckham to, or Tuck Trenum to the inside and they come out of turn number four. That number 54 takes the lead here. This race leader, Trent Tuckham. Tuck Trenum. Tuck Trenum's got a challenger. Tuck with a horrible corner. Going to lose two position. McCauley back out front. Tuck and Showers doing battle. We're under yellow. We are under yellow, and it looks like to be car number. That looks like to be car number 99. And green flag is back out in the air. We are underway. Lots to go here as they dive into the turn one. Tuck trying to move out of car lane. And something goes Whoa. loose. And I don't know what he hit, but something went flying in the air. We are back here under racing, but it looks like Showers Jr. will take the race lead. Joe Belke in second, challenging Showers. Got a great in the left rear corner panel of Showers. Let them know that he's here. Belke off a of four, dropping to the third spot. Little David, your race leader. David Showers Jr. to the race lead. Justin McCulley in second. He'll go to the outside, trying to see if he can make it work. He will get his nose to the in outside of him as they go side by side down the back straightaway, heading into turn number three. And we will see McCulley working the outside high, wide, and handsome. He's going to try to battle for the race lead off the four. Justin McCauley on the hammer. Showers trying to squeeze him up the racetrack a little bit. McCauley not going away. Showers on the bottom doing a slide job. Here comes Justin McCauley and Joe Belke now making a run. Here they go down the back straightaway. Joe Belke now in the mix as they see Showers to the inside trying to make it stick. Will he pull the slide job? Not close enough. They'll go side by side off turn four. Joe Belke in the mix. As they work lap number nine, it is still McCauley, your leader, Showers in second. Belke working to the outside. Tuck Trenum in the four spot. Trying to hang with your leader slowly, dropping back. Belke on the outside of Showers for that number two spot. Let's see who it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to find out as they come across the line. It's going to be halfway. The cross flags are out for Justin McCauley as they come out. Belke with a good run on Showers. Meanwhile, out front, McCauley with about a five-car length advantage. Now Belke up to second. Showers dropped to third. Showers had a rough three and four. Here comes Joe Belke. He's in the number two spot. Joe Belke contending for a good finish in the point standing here tonight as he's trying to reel in. Justin McCauley, and now as they go down the back straight with David Showers dropping back to third and into the clutch of Tuck Trenum now as they dive into turns three and four. But Justin McCauley has a one point one advantage over Joe Belke off four. Tuck Trenum gathering it back up. I believe what might have happened with Tuck Trenum, something might have been loose underneath that car because when he went into one on that restart, that car just launched like he ran over part of his front grill or something. Something was in. Yeah. Hole there. there is not. There's no hole there.
whatsoever, so it must have been a piece of dirt underneath his car, but we are still keeping an eye as Chuck Trenable is now trying to get outside around and get around and keep away from Bella Christian who looks to the inside. Here comes Bubba Christian on the inside of Tuck Trenum. That would be for the four spot. Bubba making a late race run. It's going to be six to go this time by for Justin McCauley. Justin McCauley now has that lead advantage to about 1.4, maybe 1.6 seconds. And Joe Belke as they go out of turn number two. Lap traffic could be a factor here with six laps to go, Bob, as they come down into turn three and four. Yes, they are. It's going to be five to go this time by McCauley having it all his way. Joe Belke hanging on in second. Best battle right now is for fourth between Bubba Christian and Tuck Trenum as they work down the front straightaway. Five to go. Five laps to go here, and McCauley will maintain the race lead now as we continue underway, as we will also see if Joe Belke will be able to catch up and work his way into the race lead, but it's going to be too close to call as they come out of turn number four. All right, as they're working lap numbers, 16. McCauley continues to lead, pushed up a little bit. That's going to allow Belke to maybe reel him in. Bubba Christian trying to run down the little David Showers. Three to go. It's still all Justin McCauley down the back straightaway. Going to get into some heavy lap traffic. It's going to be double sticks this time by and a tough break for Tuck Trenum. Had a win in sight here tonight. Tuck calling it a night as he pulls out 54 pit side. Now McCauley slicing and dicing through lap traffic. It's going to be the white flag next time for Justin McCauley. McCauley gets the white flag. Belke got one half a mile to try to reel him in. McCauley, Belke, Showers, and Bubba Christian rounding out the top four. Final time down the back straightaway, sailing off into turn number three and four. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be Justin McCauley, your feature event winner, $1,000, Richard. Everybody give it up for Justin McCauley, your race winner here in the Street Stock Division. Give it a round of applause, get a good photo opportunity. Oh, let's get another photo opportunity right quick. Justin, hold tight. All right. Justin, what a race for you indeed. Tell us about how it was for you out there tonight on the track. I don't know. This is my first win ever. I don't even know what to say. And how do you feel? Amazing. Like, I, this is my first win. Like, yeah, I just want to think. Uh, give me a second. Take your time. Take it in. Forward, uh, right way landscapes, images, and uh, a will mail Blake Sod Farm, my fiance Becky, Durham Race Engines, Blake Spencer Racing, and everybody that helps me out. Thanks, everybody.